In this video we're going to look at backing up WordPress using the Updraft Plus plugin. Uh, once you install it, if you go to the Settings and Updraft Plus and you'll come to the main screen here and this shows the current status where we can back up, we can do a back, uh, manual backup, a restore, a clone and migrate and it shows you the, the status. Now that might be misleading here, I'm showing zero backups but I have got a last backup job run here that's because I have done a backup before previously and I've deleted the the files okay um, the reason I've done that is because I want to show you a completely fresh fresh backup now Updraft Plus will do a schedule backup and the first thing we're going to do is configure the scheduling and we go to the settings now it will back up files and it will back up the database now file backups tend to be large because you're backing up themes plugins and your uploads and I configure that to be um, on this setting here fortnightly and I'm going to keep eight of the backups which gives me approximately uh, four months worth of backups and I'm configuring my database to be weekly and I'm going to keep eight of those as well now you can set these to whatever you whatever you want now this if we go further down the files to be included when we do a file backup and I'm include I'm including all of them, plugins, themes, uploads. Um, I can encrypt the database for more security but if you do that make sure you keep the keys. If you lose them you lose access to your database. I'm not going to do it here. And reporting this will email me. It send an email to the um, configured email address on the site and it just tells you whether the backup succeeded or not. It doesn't actually email the backup and here we can copy the backups to remote storage. Now I'm not doing that but you, if you've got a Dropbox account or something you can configure it to send it there. You can even configure it to email. Now I don't really recommend that if you're, if you're backing up the database. If you're backing up um, the files as well I wouldn't get it to email you because they're going to be very very large. Okay but this email there is just a, a report email and that's about it for the settings now once you finish save the changes and that's scheduled to run and you can see the next scheduled backup is going to be um, Friday the 15th and it's going to back up the files and it's going to back up the database okay now um, what I'm going to do now is show you the uh, current backups and if I go to the Updraft Plus directory which is underneath the WordPress contents you can see it's empty and if I go up here to the control panel on backups you can see I'm showing zero backups if I just rescan that folder it tells me I don't have any backups which is what I expect because I haven't done one yet so let's go back to the main window here and we're going to initiate a manual backup so I'm going to initiate a manual backup now because when you get on the second screen you can actually tell it what to back up you can tell it not to don't include the database uh, don't include the files now I'm I'm going to back up everything so I'm just going to leave all that except I'm not going to send it to remote storage so let's just do a backup now and let me scroll down here and you can see there's the status there. Now I'm just going to pause this video because it could take a little while uh, while it does the backup. Okay the backup's finished now you can see here um, the down sorry the backup apparently succeeded here we are here and I can download the the log files. Now I'm just going to show you the uh, existing backups as one and I'm going to show you now the backup directory the, the updraft directory you can see there's the backups there and if I expand that you can, should be able to see plugins themes uploads database and others now look at the database size it's uh, less than a meg okay now I'm going to do this again so another backup but this time I'm not going to include the files, I'm just going to do a database backup. Now this should be very quick. So backup now. Okay. 
And okay, that's done. That was very quick. And if I just refresh the page, it's showing two backups. And you can see the last backup job, 1926. And if I look at the directory and again refresh it, you can see now there's two DB files here, one there, one there. They're the same size because I haven't made changes to the database in the meantime. Um, but notice there's only the two DB ones. Um, we haven't duplicated the plugins or themes because I, I chose not to back those up. Okay, that's it. Now we've got the backups. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the restore. So I'm going to show you the what you get, the email you get uh, when the scheduled backup happens. And I'll just bring up the email now. So here's the email here, you can see it. Just, um, just open it up there. Backed up Updrive Plus and there's, there it is there. It's just a report, it's not the actual database itself. So that's it for this video. In the next video we're going to look at restoring.